Hello, this is Joe Slapo again. For those of you who know, who watch X Factor, here's uh, a little update. Josh Kragic from the X Factor. Uh, he did a, he, he got top seven, and he's from, from the Worcester area, Worcester Canton area, so uh, that's uh, kind of a local news uh, update right there. And for those of you who are following my channel about the animation stuff, here's uh, about the beard cutting incident. Uh, seven men charged with federal hate crime in Amish beard cutting incident. Uh, Along with their leader and another man, the five men accused of cutting hair and beard uh, of a local Amish bishop arrested Wednesday on federal hate crime charges. Um, by the way, um, the guy that's uh, defending them is uh, is the same guy that, uh, that that did it for for my charges. And, uh, charged with that stuff. Um, federal charges may in fact get them rightfully prosec prosecuted, however I'm sorry to say I still think they'll get, will get a slap on the wrist. Um, Bishop Sam Mullen and the men who do the, uh, his bidding will learn the wheels of justice may grind slow, but they grind exceedingly fine cannot begin to say how pleased I am to see this justice. Well, um, I can say this, I hope you're right that, that, that you go to prison, but if they, because uh, it's obvious that they did what they were told, uh, what they did, but I'm not sure if hate crime is the correct thing to charge them with, but at any rate, um, so I got some uh, questions on uh, on uh, U YouTube, and I'll read some of them here. Uh, William Miller writes, uh, "Hi, my name is William Miller. My aunt Nancy married Eli Mullet, and I lived there in the late '90s. And things like Sam burying a child wouldn't surprise me, cause he raped my aunt." two times while her husband was locked up in a chicken coop for two weeks. Anyways, thanks for the videos, which makes me think when, when times was good before my teen years and lived with my mom in Atlantic, Pennsylvania. Uh, that's sad, but I don't know uh, what I can do about, about it. Is, is say. Uh, okay, so I have another question up here from uh, another user. Eddie, just watched a couple of your, your videos and subscribed to your channel. Thanks. The Amish have always intrigued me, but one thing I never understood is since they are very a very close group close-knit group who keep to themselves, what do they do for their support, to support their big families? I know about horse auctions, carpentry, kip quilting, and selling vegetables they grow themselves. It just seems some sects are large groups, and if they all do the same thing to make money, doesn't that somehow saturate the, saturate the market where it's hard to make money? Well, um, to be honest, I think, yeah, it could, uh, have that effect, uh, but I think a lot of people are, in this area in particular, quite, uh, taken with the whole tourism thing in this area, and so they're, uh, getting a lot of 
that tourism traffic and making money off of that nowadays it's not so much about uh, farming anymore uh, although some still do it's not as big of an income earner as it used to be especially with um, was the vets cracking down on on raw milk which I don't I still don't get that part about it but be that as it may I think I think the, the, the government should just back off and, and let them lift their life on that part because I don't see anything wrong with raw milk <laughs> but and if people wanted to drink it, drink it. You know, I grew up on the stuff. No, you would, would want to have it uh, cool. We never drank it warm, you know. And, by the way, I have, um, for those who, who are interested in the Amish and, and the cooking and stuff like that, I have a, a Facebook group here. I'm using here. I have a group on uh, on Facebook called uh, Amish Recipes. So uh, this group called Amish Recipes is um, has like 200 some members. If anybody wants to, to talk about uh, Amish recipes and stuff like that, but anyway, back to the to the question. Yeah, it can saturate the market, but to some extent. But there are but there is a bit of market there to for uh, a lot of people that are listening to uh, what they have to sell and, and are um, so they're, they're selling their stuff um, it's like kind of a monkey see monkey do <laughs> that's uh, my that's my uh, friend uh, David Yoder would say. Um, okay, well, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.